What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video where we're going to be talking about some new stuff added to the game, right? So Konami have now added a new event called Worldwide uh, Weekend Showdown or just Weekend Showdown. I don't know where I got the worldwide from. But anyway, this event is part of the Dream Team events from the main menu. I just wanted to have a chat about it, right? So this is pretty much um, kind of like a weekend showdown. It only happens on the weekends and it's a ranking event. And you can see here the description of the event is pretty much, you know, it is it is kind of exactly what it says, right? So it's in a week, it's a weekend competition. You play 15 matches and the best results from your 15 games are counted. So with a maximum of, you know, 45 uh, points up for grabs and then goal difference and stuff like that. It is only on for two days, as you can see there. And then there are a load of rewards as well. So you get even participation rewards, you get ranking rewards, you know, say rank one in the world is going to get half a million GP. Rank two to five are going to get 400,000, six to 10, 300,000, and so on and so on and so on, right? But even if you just, you know, play one match and get beat 10 nil, you're still going to get 60 or 70,000 just for playing the games, right? Now, they also discuss an area list, and this is kind of, I think, they're going to be their new take on the region lock um, or the regions that they used to have before. So currently at the moment, if you are playing a division, you are going to be linked up. The way it works is think of it like a big giant circle. And, you know, if somebody is matchmaking, if somebody is looking for a game that's, you know, as close to possible within your circle, um, you will match up with them. So say for me, if, if somebody from Ireland is connecting to the same server as me and I'm connecting at the same time, we're going to have more chance of getting uh, connected, you know, because it's the distance. And then obviously the divisions come into it as well. Right. Uh, you know, that would be why I wouldn't like link up with somebody first off from, you know, somebody like, say, over in France or Germany or Spain. OK. But as I can't find games, or if I can't find games, if I'm, you know, playing at different times, or if matchmaking is just a little kind of all over the place, it starts to expand the search. So this is kind of what they're calling as an area list, and it's kind of, you know, again, the same thing as regions, right? Co-op is, you know, you can play with anybody in co-op at the moment. There is no region lock on it. So it does kind of promote, um, you know, playing with different connections and part of the online beta test, right? So as you see here in the weekend showdown, uh, you can see that the match is going to be ending in eight hours uh, or match making is going to be ending. Um, and that's going to be like you can play with any squad. It doesn't matter. There's no events on it. Right. Um, there's no event con restrictions on it. So all you'll be doing is basically playing your 15 matches. You can see here you play 15 and then it's your best 15 matches uh, that are going to be that are going to be counted. Now, obviously, goals difference come into it as well. So goals for goal against and that makes up your goal difference. Um, and then, you know, even if you lose a couple of games, you can still, you know, finish off and play your 15. But you have to play 15 in order to rank. OK, so that's probably one thing that, you know, some people mightn't have a lot of uh, a lot of time to play 15 matches. Um, some people might only have time to play, you know, three or four matches on a Saturday, three or four matches on a Sunday. So I do think that they need to tweak it a little bit. But I like the idea, man. And as you can see here, you've got guys that are going to be up near the top with 15 matches played and, you know, nearly 100 goals scored. Um, I mean, the top ranked guy has got 93 goals, five goals conceded in 15 games. Um, so, yeah, I mean, look, I mean, obviously they still need to look at certain aspects of this game game and i think the biggest thing is that if they are this event i think the biggest thing that they need to do uh number one is to have the matchmaking and the servers and all that you know kind of like very stable when there is people and there is you know a lot of stuff up for grabs so people will want to win um and then also they need to have the matchmaking you know it needs to be fair and it also needs to be consistent so for me i mean like it is something nice to have obviously the more stuff that they can add to the game whether it's just a you know an event whether it's a co-op event whether it's a weekend league anything like that because this does you know very uh much kind of like the setup of it is very much like fifa's ultimate teams uh foot champs or whatever um where you have it broken down into your ranking phase your qualifying phase and then your finals right and then you have it tied to rewards i don't think this is a bad thing man i think that this is something that you know you can take you can take inspiration or take an idea and put your own spin on it to fit it into your own game you know you see it in nba 2k a lot of the time you see it in fifa and pez from back in the day you know with master league career mode certain aspects of team building from master league have made its way into ultimate team and made its way into the career mode um you know pro clubs all that sort of stuff with the 3v3 co-op and pez and e-football then so yeah i definitely think it is the way forward i would like to see a dedicated 
co-op event. That is kind of where I think the game could really flourish. That if you had to just kind of like, you know, set up a clan, you have 2v2 or 3v3 and you share the rewards and spoils with your teammates. But have it in a way that like, you know, not everyone is going to be able to reach, you know, the top 10 in any ranking system. Because whether it's time-based, whether you just don't have the time, whether it's that you just don't have the skill level, whether you don't have the players, whether you don't have a mixture of everything. So I do think it needs to be, you know, a little bit kind of like inclusive for everybody of all skill levels of all time um, restraints and everything like that. I know that's going to be difficult. Like video games are always going to suit two people. They're going to sue people who can put in serious amount of hours or are going to sue people that can put in a bit of money to get better players. Okay. But there should be a nice kind of happy medium there as well for somebody that wants to play the game casually. But when they play it casually, it doesn't mean that they're just happy to lose every game. So let's see where it goes, lads. If you haven't played the weekend showdown already, um, you know, you can now check it out. And if you have, let me know what you think of it. Thoughts in the comments below. Is this a sign of things in the future that you would like to see and work on a little bit more? Uh, let me know and we'll talk about it in the next video. All right, lads. Peace.